hope that you are having a fantastic Mother's Day. Um, I, as a fellow mother, <laughs> have very little um, privacy or, you know, it's very rarely that I'm left alone by the animals in my house or, you know, other people that need me, which I'm sure you feel, which is fine. Love it. But um, if there are dogs, random dog sounds in the background, or if you hear a baby crying, this is life. Uh, so I hope that you will bear with me. Um, so today, I have the pleasure of demonstrating how to make kind of a homemade tapestry. We all see these elaborate tapestries being sold for, you know, upwards of like $50 sometimes on Etsy and they're so beautiful, they're handmade and, and weaving is so difficult and I would, I, I, <laughs> I would love to learn, um, but I do not know how. So we're going to make a very easy tapestry today. It's going to be similar to this one behind me, but a smaller version. Um, if you want to do something this big, go for it. It totally just depends on the length of stick that you have or dowel rod. So you can use, if you have a dowel rod on hand, you can use a dowel rod. That's what I used for this one. Or honestly, you could just go into your yard and find a stick. Um, I'm going to be using this one today. I recommend sanding the pointy stuff. Uh, I don't have any sandpaper, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Um, but I do recommend sanding off the things that could potentially give you splinters. Um, this is the stick I'm gonna use today as the um, branch to attach my yarn to. All you need is some sort of stick. Uh, yarn, if you have just spare yarn laying around, I have this nice gray color. You can do multiple colors. I will just do, be doing one color today and a pair of scissors. Um, I have, you know, there's other branches over here. You could do like a mini one. This is, you know, maybe a little under 12 inches. Uh, just totally depends on what you're up for, the time commitment that you have. It's going to take more time, the bigger your branch is. So, um, how we're going to start is by sort of building a stockpile of pre-cut yarn. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take your yarn and we are, the way we're attaching the yarn to the branch or stick or whatever is by like a slip knot. So you're going to want to double uh, the length. So I think the easiest way to do this is just using your arm to measure. Um, and you can do the full length of your arm. What I did with this one is obviously these, these strings are longer. And so these were all one length at one point and I just cut a shape, which is what we're going to do today. So depending on how long or short you want your tapestry to be, you could do a full arm's length or you could do a little mini one. I'll probably just do half my arm. So I'm just taking the end of the string, bringing it to my elbow, and then I'm pulling that and doubling it because we need every string to be double the length because we will be using a slip knot to attach it. Um, so what you want to do is just go ahead and start building your arsenal of pre-cut strings. So what you want to do is double it so that the ends meet and you have a loop on the top here. And you can move this around, but I would say with your first one, try and pick probably an ending spot. So say you want your, your yarn to go from here to here um, and just pick an end 
and attach it. So what we're going to do is put the loop on the top and take the two ends right here and thread them through this loop so that you have a clean slip knotted attachment here on top. You're not making any knots. You don't have to cut, trim the ends of anything on top here. It all looks clean and uniform. And that is what it should look like. So I'm just gonna attach my arm. Okay, this is what I ended up with. You can trim it in whatever shape you like. That's the beauty of it. I just did a little diagonal. Looks great in your bathroom, looks great in a nursery, and it's super easy. Um, you can dictate how much time it takes you just by how big your branch is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and Make sure to tag pictures if you make this. I would love to see them uh, and tag Radiant City as well. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.